with Kicking and Coaching. I'm your host, Dale. This, I'm using just quick ingredients today. I'm not doing the, the, the whole lemons and the oranges and stuff to make the, the uh, sour orange just go mm-hmm. into it. Because. So I have to keep it simple. And uh, this is for, you know, uh, single people or people that's on the run. They can just want something to do. They can get it done and get it done in a hurry. So that's what we're going to be using. Now, first of all, let's talk about dry ingredients. I got uh, some dry ingredients in here. And what I've got, I got some kosher salt. And everything you're going to have to add to just depend on how big your roast is. Now, everything I've used has pretty much been on uh, a teaspoon or a little over. It just depends on what kind of flavor I, you know, that, that I'm looking for. So, I got some kosher salt. I have uh, two different types of paprika. I've got the, uh, the regular paprika. Then I have a smoked Spanish uh, paprika. I have onion powder. I have garlic powder, oregano, uh, black pepper. Uh, coriander um, and some red crushed peppers um, I also have uh, some some of this stuff called uh, uh, dry uh, mojo it's good stuff uh, I've been hooked on it for years and then I got stuff of course uh, some African peri peri which is uh, some hot stuff so I didn't have to use a whole lot because I want it really really hot but just enough to let you know that the heat is there and then uh, so that consists of all the uh, the dry ingredients now, as far as I uh, also got about eight cloves of chopped garlic. Okay, and this is going to be coming in handy, and uh, what we're going to be doing with it, with the beef. Now, for my juice, like I said, I'm not using the fresh stuff. I'm using the uh, uh, already prepared stuff. Now, what I did is I went and got uh, 12 ounces of orange juice, and then you can get this right here. Uh, it's called the mojito mixture. You can get it any superstore or supermarket, and uh, in the mixture section. And it's the mojito, and it's made from our, that's made from real fruits. So it's got the lime stuff. So what I did was, I put in this, I put 12 ounces of orange juice, and then I put uh, 12 ounces, then another six of of the uh, mojito sauce for the lime, and I put it here. Now what I did because this was too, actually it was filled up pretty much to the top, so I wouldn't have to mix my spices and stuff in with it. So I actually pour some back in here, and I'll be adding it later. So, what I'm going to do first off is we'll go ahead and add the dry ingredients into the sauce, uh, into our liquid, and we're going to mix it up. And like I said, now if you want some different type of, of, of ingredients or you want a different type of flavor, then by all means switch it up. Like I said, what we do here, we're just showing the basics for the recipes and stuff, and uh, it's, it's your recipe and you can uh, make it any flavor you want any flavor you want okay all right now this garlic that i chopped up is smelling delicious <laughs> and uh then i'll tell you what if you never had now i love the community the cabana sandwiches when um i used to eat pork until i found out i was allergic to pork and that's when i started eating kosher so now i have to switch stuff up but uh some good like i said some great sandwiches so i'm anxious to see what this is going to taste like uh with the beef i've had it with the turkey um <laughs> it's great, but now it's the beef time. So uh, the orange mixture here. Now I'm gonna add the uh, the garlic. Now, what I'm gonna do before I pour this on is I'm gonna take a knife, and you want to do this with your roast. You want to take your, you want to cut holes. You're actually gonna take some of that garlic and you're gonna put it into. Okay, I'm just gonna pour it on here. Yeah. Now, now what you want to do is time to get dirty. Okay, so you take it and you rub it. Like I said, all these holes that you cut in here, you're going to take a piece of garlic. And, and then what you want to do is when you get all that filled in, find all those holes to get them filled in, you're going to turn it over. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. And what I'm going to do is just take this and put the garlic here. On top, that way I can just rub it in and punch a hole, put some garlic in it, a little spot right there. Okay, and we are done now. Just gonna take some of this and just press it in with this here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'll wrap it up actually. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off. Put it on the side here and just 
cover it up. And just take this garlic and like I said, just push it in. And there we go. Now what I'll do is I'll take a piece of saran wrap, cover it up, stick it in the refrigerator, and uh, let it sit the, till tomorrow. And then so let it marinate all that nice juicy flavor stuff into it. And then uh, we'll uh, roast it and then take it out and we'll start up kibonks. So, see you tomorrow. Hi, welcome back to Kicking the Kosher. And here we have this beautiful piece of meat that was uh, we did yesterday on the uh, with the marinade, the mojo sauce and everything uh, for our Cubano. And I'll tell you, it's tasty. Um, it, it's scrumptious, it really is. And uh, But we grilled it and uh, when I brought in it, you know, I let it set for at least an, uh, an hour. Now, the minimum, the bare minimum that you want to let a, any type of meat uh, uh, before you start cutting into it once you get it off the heat is at least five minutes because if you do it any quicker than that, then all that juice is going to come out on you, onto your plate and everything and, and it loses the the, uh, the moist and the, the tenderness in it. So if you let it set, the longer you let it set, the better it's going to be. So, uh, so this one's set for, uh, we'll take it off the grill. It's set for about an hour and a half and we're ready to cut. So now we got it, all my stuff is ready to make the sandwich, okay? Now I got my flat grill and I got my sandwich maker here. Now for the uh, for the Cabano, the, the, the Cuban Cabano, it's basically uh, you have maybe six components, okay? You have the bread, the uh, the traditional is the roast pork. We have the roast beef, uh, the uh, roast and grilled beef here. Then they had a slice of ham. We have uh, pastrami. That's what we're going to be using, pastrami. Then they had a pickle, uh, slice uh, the Swiss cheese, and then uh, mustard, and then of course butter. It's almost like we have a French, it'll be in a French uh, kitchen. Lots of butter with this. So, and then it's going to be compiled. So we're going to, we're going to go ahead and slice up our beef. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the grills and stuff and start getting them hot. So now the bread. The, the cues for, calls for the Cuban rolls. Now, if you don't have Cuban rolls, you can use any type of bread that you find. Now, I happen to have um, a part of a French roll here, uh, French bread. So, all I did was just slice it in half, and then I'm going to show you how to take care of that in a minute. Actually, while I'm cooking, first thing you want to do is go ahead and you want to butter the inside of your, uh, of your rolls, your buns. So, I'm going to go ahead and stick this on the grill because it's going to have to get some nice good grill marks on it here okay i'm going to stick those two right there and let them let those heat up while i'm doing that i'm going to go ahead and slice off some of this uh, delicious beef right here so i do have enough meat that's cut already so what i'm going to do is go ahead and put this here with my out of the way, put the uh, meat on here for the meat to get warm. Okay, let's take the meat. I mean the uh, pastrami. And put it down as well. Okay. I'll just slowly make a few cheese. Now, what we'll may have to do sometimes is go ahead and get yeah, so you can hit that sizzle on the bread. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and bring these off. Let's have a nice and get nice and brown. Yes, that's the good stuff. Okay. Oh right. uh, yeah. Okay, now then on top. Put uh, yeah. our cheese. Then our pickle. And then on top, hope I don't make a whole lot of noise. I'm gonna slather. Okay. Slide this side of the way. Now, and all you have to do is add this to your top here. Press down, and now you actually have a sandwich, but it's not done yet. Because still have to butter both sides and put it on the on the grill. So we're going to go ahead and turn it over. Just like that. 
there, and add some butter on the top. Lock here so it's unlock it. You want to take it? You hear that sound? Mm. I'm going to say it's looking good. Looking good. Oh, it's smelling great too. I'm going to flip it over. And. Oh, yeah. And the cheese is melting nice. Oh, yeah. It's always cut at an angle. So let's go ahead and cut it at an angle here. And there we go, I can pick it up. Mm. Woo. Okay, there you go, there's your one cabana, one cubana. The, uh, this, uh, the equivalent to the uh, American ham and cheese, that's a beef and cheese. So, I got my napkin, now it's time for a taste test. Mmm, with those, that marinade, that my home mar my marinade, mm. the pickle, the, the mustard, the cheese, the butter, the bread, it all, nothing overpowers anything else, it all blends in and just joins together and makes it, and it explodes in your mouth, I mean it's delicious, the flavors are, are, are tremendous, I want to say thank you for watching, so. Thank you.